hello. Welcome to my bathroom. Welcome back to my bathroom. I know we've been here before. I thought today we would do my skincare routines, starting with the AM routine. I will say, I'm, I'm gonna like walk through it and everything, but uh, my morning routine pretty much never changes. I do the same things every morning uh, and my nighttime routine does change. I'm gonna show you all of the steps that I do for both of them and for the ones that are different, like the different nights that I have, I will show you what products I use for that. So buckle up <laughs> and let's get ready. Starting with our skincare from the very beginning. So normally I first wake up and I do not wash my face, but I do rinse my face with water. I just rinse my face with water. And then I rinse my mouth out, I scrape my tongue. I don't always brush my teeth because I like to have my coffee first but I feel like the rinsing of my mouth, or scraping of the tongue, rinsing of the mouth sets me up for a good cup of coffee. And then I do uh, some serums, usually my um, Cosarex uh, Snail Mucin Serum, then a hyaluronic acid, and then my moisturizer. And that's my morning routine. So I will do that right now <laughs> and show you everything along the way. So first we start with washing my face. So now my face is all wet. <laughs> I don't feel the need to cleanse my face, but I do want to wash off the extra product. I, I can always like feel it coming off, anything that didn't get absorbed through the night. But cleansing just feels like too much of a hassle in the morning. I've got pretty normal skin. And by normal, I mean it's not too oily, it's not too dry. I get um, kind of oily throughout the day, but nothing super, I'm not an oil slick. My face is still a little damp. Um, and then I go in with my Coser X Snail Mucin. I usually do, whoop, whoop. I love this stuff. This is actually a, a staple in my collection. I used up what I had and was like, I'm not gonna repurchase this. I don't need this. And then once I started the spirolactone and tretinoin, um, I just, I really needed that infused of hydration. This is a very hydrating product and it has made such a big difference since I put it back in my routine. So I was on a no buy for the first three months of the year, but these two things were something I bought during that no buy because my skin just needed it and I didn't have any, I didn't have any backups. So this is the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid. I'm not married to any specific hyaluronic acids. Um, I've used The Ordinary, I've used this one. I feel like they all, I mean, I'm sure some work better than others, but um, none has ever, have ever really like blown me away to where I'm like this. This is the hyaluronic acid for me. But these work great and I do enjoy using them. And again, it just gives my skin that, that boost of hydration that I was lacking, so. My skin was still a little damp from rinsing it and that other serum, so I really do like work it in. Especially here, this is where I get the driest with the tretinoin and like my temples for whatever reason. So I just really kind of work it in. Where it feels good. And then moisturizer. So this is the Snail Rescue All-in-One Oil-Free Moisturizer. I used to have the Deep Cream Lotion, which was great for winter time because it was very nourishing, very heavy and thick without feeling heavy and thick. Um, and this is the oil-free one that I had bought towards the end of the summer last year. So it's not the freshest of ones, but it has a 12-month lifeline, life shelf life. So I still feel like I'm within that. I'm trying to be much better about using my products within their windows of time because that's important. Um, so I, I brought this one back into the rotation after I finished the other one. It is getting more warmer outside, so I don't necessarily need a really heavy, thick cream anymore um, during the day. So this gel moisturizer, I think, is lovely. I usually do bring it down to my neck, all around. 
and then that's it that's truly what I do in the morning and then I um, go sit and have my coffee and either fuss around on my phone or read a book whatever for about 15 20 minutes I let that all sink in and, and hydrate my face and then I go in and do my makeup for the day so that's the AM skincare routine truly those are the only three products I use in the morning um, the only thing that changes is what that product is like what brand it is so like when I run out of this one I'll just you know roll in a new moisturizer I might repurchase this one I really like it would recommend um, but yeah just those three products and that seems to help set my face up for makeup for the day so we will return when the day is done and I am ready to take my makeup off and do my nighttime skincare routine so I'll see you I'll see you later <laughs> Welcome back to my skincare routine. Uh, we are now in the PM. We are in the PM of the skincare routine. So I'm gonna walk you through everything I do uh, at the end of the day when I am ready for bed. So I start with a double cleanse and I will grab a cleansing balm and then a cleanser to get all of my makeup off and work it all off. I did swatches earlier and those still have not come off. Um, but yeah, double cleanse, and then I, my biggest and best habit that I have cultivated this year, um, is flossing. <laughs> then I will floss my teeth and then brush my teeth for bed, because you should floss first, and you should also brush your teeth before your skincare, so you don't have any, like, reactions between like if you get toothpaste on you or when you wipe your mouth rinse your mouth and everything you don't get extra water or anything on it I digress so double cleanse brush my teeth and then depending on the night I kind of do a skin cycling thing where I will uh, go in with my tretinoin um, after my skin is dry on dry skin tretinoin and then I let that sit for about 20 minutes and then I go in with a uh, barrier repair serum, maybe some niacinamide serum, and, excuse me, moisturizer, a heavy duty moisturizer, and an oil, a rosehip oil. That's my, like, retinol night. When it's not a retinol night, I do um, that same barrier repair serum, and then I go in with, what do I go in? Oh, alpha arbutin and lactic acid. I do a little cocktail of that and then moisturizer. It doesn't have to be heavy duty, but then I do a moisturizer and sometimes a that same rosehip oil if I feel it's necessary. So tonight is a uh, not a tretinoin night and it's not quite a physical exfoliating or even chemical exfoliating night. So I'm going to do everything that I just said. Um, so <laughs> I'll show you. Oh, and I'll, I'll add one. So, double cleanse. Um, then I will go in with the Good Molecules uh, Discolor... What am I doing? Let me, let me walk you through it. We're going to start with the double cleanse. I'm going to go in with... This is a pe uh, peach, peach Slices Peach Pudding Makeup Cleanser. It's actually not a cleansing balm. It's a pudding kind of consistency. Um, and I don't know if I like it. It looks like that. And I think it's effective, don't get me wrong. I just like a cleansing balm. So I don't know. I don't know if I would repurchase this. I'm going to use it because I have it. But um, I don't know if I prefer it um, compared to other first cleanses that I have. So I go in with dry skin, or dry skin, uh, yeah, dry skin before I wet it and I just kind of work everything and then I'll get it wet just like I would with a cleansing balm and emulsify it and I try to I literally try to count to 60 for like a minute and just cleanse and get everything off um, for a minute's worth because they say that's how long it takes for your skincare to be the most effective so I usually count 40 or 60. It kind of just depends. 
on how I'm feeling. And then I emulsify. So then I add the water to it. And I do this like while counting, all part of the same 60. Tell you what, I think I got this in my eye and I don't feel good. <laughs> so that's the first cleanse. And then I go in with a cleanser. I have this uh, Vital Vita 12 Jelly Cleanser, which I really, really like. And I also have the CeraVe Acne Control Cleanser. I go back and forth. I'm not married to either. Um, so I'm gonna go in with this one. This one is very nice. It's a Tony Moly is the brand. Uh, Vita, Vital Vita 12. I want to say it's like a vitamin C cleanser, but I do not actually recall. So just like get that all ready. And again, I count to like 40, 40 or 50. Not quite a full, full minute because all the heavy duty has been, all the heavy lifting has been done by the first cleanse and this is just making sure everything else gets off. So I will continue over here. I just got so much water, like, all over me. I don't really know what happened in that, but um, that is my face cleansed. Pat dry. I'm trying really hard to, like, just scrub and rub my face. Although sometimes it just feels so good. Okay. Now that my... Face is cleansed. I'm going to floss and brush my teeth. If you're interested, this is the floss I use. It is the Up and Away Smooth Slide Floss from Target. Um, and yeah, I went to the dentist for the first time in like probably five years and I was just so scared that I was gonna have a cavity um spoiler alert still no cavities I'm cavity free at 34 thank goodness but they did say that like my flossing really needed to improve and I took that to heart and when I go back for my next checkup they're gonna be like wow this is the best teeth I've ever seen and I do usually that was the first that was the uppers now I gotta do the lowers um and I keep like flossers in my car so I floss after work, I floss all the time. I'm a flossing machine. And I was definitely on like dental side of TikTok for a while. So I feel like I got like lots of <laughs> camera. I can't see anything. Um, yeah, so I got lots of good like tips and tricks um, from TikTok about how to be the best flosser ever. So I also went to the movies today and I got popcorn. You absolutely have to floss after eating popcorn. You can get stuck, get it stuck in between your teeth and it could break a tooth. And then I brush. And again, in case you're interested, I just switched to this. This is the Crest 3D White. Um, and I switched to this. This is actually what Anthony has. I normally have to use like Sensodyne or like for sensitive teeth. Um, and I ran out of my toothpaste, used it all up because I brushed my teeth a lot, <laughs> and I just didn't want to go buy anymore. He had like six tubes of toothpaste, so I said I will just use that, and if my teeth hurt too much, then I will just eventually get more toothpaste, but I think it's been okay. So, Philip Sonic Care. <laughs> That was my teeth brushing, and then I do a quick little tongue scrape to get all of the rest of today's grossness out of my mouth. And then I normally have this cute little bottle filled with this, as well as baking soda, baking soda and hydrogen peroxide to help whiten my teeth more naturally. Um, but I just have not refilled, so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this. And then that is my teeth routine. Okay, back to 
the skincare. Something that I didn't mention was the uh, Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. I use this a couple times a week. And again, I did a Tretinoin last night. So this is more of a recovery night. I do Tretinoin about every other night. Um, if it seems like it's too drying or peeling, I go every two nights. But um, I just kind of play it by ear. Um, minor skin cycling, if you're familiar, where it's uh, tretinoin recovery exfoliation, tretinoin recovery exfoliation. I just kind of do tretinoin recovery and I throw exfoliation in there about two or three times a week with the recovery nights. So, um, you are supposed to let that one sit for a little bit. And maybe I'm messing with the efficacy of it, but I just, I'm tired. And I don't want to let it sit until it's fully absorbed. I'm just going to pretend like it's doing what it needs to do. And then this is the Coco Kind Barrier Repair Serum, which is a staple, I will say. I think I've noticed a huge difference, and I started using this before the tretinoin, um, just because I have issues with like dermatitis and damaging my skin barrier all the time, um, because I'm a fool sometimes. But yeah, this one, absolutely holy grail. We'll always repurchase, we'll always have a backup. Um, same with this one. Yeah, this one's actually almost gone. I will always have one of these on hand. Um... Sika and Vitamin C Serum from Me Back. Really like it. Um, I'm not married to any specific Vitamin C, but um, I try to keep a Vitamin C on hand. I'm going to go in with both of these. This is Alpha Arbutin, which is good for um, skin texture and discoloration, and lactic acid, so that's like my chemical exfoliation for the night. Just do a few little dropper of each. Those are both from The Ordinary. And I always try to get my neck. Especially because I break out a lot underneath. Then I have a couple of different um, like moisturizers that I like to use at night, although I do use this one sometimes during the day. This is the Fresh Black Tea Advanced Age Renewal Cream. It's very nice. Um, and then this Sephora Overnight Hydrating Mask. Very thick, very nice. I'm actually going to go in with this one tonight uh, because it's the weekend and I just like to like overload with the hydration because I can. Feels like a good time to do it. So it's very thick like that. It's actually very similar, I think, to the La Roche-Posay Sika Blast Balm. Um, this is really good when I was peeling really bad. I bought this because of tretinoin. Um, and then I got this in via Skeepers or Octoly. So I kind of feel like they're both a little redundant. I don't necessarily need both of them, but I have both and I do use them. So this is just a really nice, heavy, thick cream. It feels really nice. My nighttime routine definitely takes a lot longer than the morning. Obviously, morning have just three steps. And depending on the night, I might have a few extra in this one. But I really like it. Like, I have... The <laughs> At this point, like... I, it's my routine, and like this is when I start to relax. This is when I'm ready for bed. This signals to my brain, it's bedtime. And this is the Ordinary Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil, a holy grail. I've used this for a long time, and there was kind of a long time when I did not use it, and I feel like I noticed a big difference without it. And once I started integrating it again, it was just like kind of night and day. 
Um, obviously very hydrating, helps lock everything in, but um, it has other good properties to it. Um, kind of plumping, I think it helps with uh, redness. It's just a beautiful oil and I like to use it. So I have, um, excuse me, this uh, Trader Joe's Vitamin E oil, which I also use sometimes. Um, and I use that one when I like shave my face. <laughs> so rosehip oil is usually just for actual skincare. And then the Vitamin E oil I've been using when I shave my face or when I do like my chlorophyll mask I'll put a few drops of that in it so but yeah oh and then I finish you won't be surprised I'm sure if you followed me you know anything about me I finish it off with some Carmex a lot of Carmex mm. and that's my nighttime skincare routine and pretty much all of the products that I have everything else is um something like what I have, so another vitamin C serum, um, what didn't I show, another overnight mask, everything on that shelf, on that second shelf is all masks, and I do masks, you know, a couple of times a week, or when I'm feeling extra stressed or anxious, um, I'll probably do a nice one tomorrow, I'll take the shower tomorrow, um, and so I'll probably do a, a few masks before and then maybe like a regener not a regenerating, but a hydrating, soothing mask after that. And then a big round of skincare like this. Um, I'll do a bigger chemical exfoliation tomorrow, like a chemical mask. Um, hence the hydrating one afterwards. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's my skincare routine. Um, that nobody asked for, but I just wanted to share. So I am just um, an, a skincare enthusiast. I don't actually know what I'm doing. I just watch a lot of TikTok and uh, read a lot of articles about skincare, and this is what works for me so far. And with the tretinoin and spiralactone, I do feel like my skin is getting better. So I'm just trying to help not speed up the process by any means, but um, supplement it all. So it all works together nicely. That's the plan. I just like to look, you know, younger than my 34 years and also take care of my teeth. <laughs> but anyway, again, the, uh, the routine that nobody asked for, but there we have it. Thank you for joining. If you have any skincare advice for me or if I'm doing anything, drastically wrong please let me know so my face doesn't melt off but um thanks again for for sticking around for watching i hope you have a wonderful evening day week month year wherever you are and i will see you in the next one bye